Hello everybody. My name is Juan, aka DJ Juanito, owner operator of Groove Nation Records. Uh, Groove Nation Records was formed in 1993, April of 1993 to be exact. Um, I'm still in operation. I still produce records. I still develop artists. That's what I do. Uh, but I've decided to take on 3D animation for one particular reason, to tell my story. My story is a long one. I come from Oakland, California originally, uh, born and raised in the Bay Area. And um, long story short, I ended up moving to LA. Uh, I ended up kicking off Universal Records. Uh, I was the first artist, producer, DJ to deliver their very first record in 1995, 1996. Uh, the reason I say 1995, 96 is because the record actually blew up on Power 106 in LA in 1995, uh, October of 1995 to be exact. And um, Universal records they were actually weren't universal records yet they were uh, rising tide uh, Daniel Glass was in charge along with Doug Morris uh, they called me um, to offer a deal long story short yes I took the deal with universal records uh, well, they were rising tide but they converted to universal records uh, what drew what drew me into that deal was that I would be the first record on Universal Records. Uh, I got offered other deals, one by Jimmy Iovine at Interscope. Uh, Clive Davis turned us down. He said that the, the artist was out of key, which technically he was correct. Uh, it was pleasantly out of key. But um, I turned down Jimmy Iovine. Um, <clears throat> And I went ahead and signed a deal with Daniel Glass, Doug Morris, and Universal Records. So I was the first record on Universal Records. Anyway, went from Oakland, California, gangs, drugs, uh, one foot in the grave, the other on a banana peel type of situation, to releasing the very first record on the number one record label on the face of the planet so that this is going to be my story that's what i'm going to be working on um and to do that i'm going to be using character uh creator 3 which you see here iclone 7 which you see here and unreal engine 4 um, this is my workflow. Uh, of course, I use stuff like uh, ZBrush, Substance, Painter, um, uh, a marvelous designer for a few things. I'm not very, you know, good yet with marvelous designer, but I'm learning. And uh, a variety of other programs like. Um, um, Daz, I use Daz for clothes. Uh, I actually purchase a lot of 3D stuff to to uh, dress my characters, and I modify it, change it around a little bit um, with ZBrush. And what else do I use? I use um, mm, I'm learning Maya. I, I could use Maya for some um, some other stuff. Uh, regarding the animation and uh, what else uh, there's another program I'm missing anyway uh, these are the programs I use and um, and what I'm going to use to tell my story um, so um, I am I think I am going to use a, a production uh, name for my animation my record company is Groove Nation. Um, 
the animation company, um, I was thinking about using the word perfecto. Perfecto animation or uh, perfecto 3D or something with the word perfecto in it. I don't know yet. I'm going to uh, figure that out as I go. So, excuse me, I got, um, I'm getting over a cold. But, um, yeah, so everything pretty much starts here with my with my um, character. Uh, this is supposed to be me. <laughs> uh, I, I, I did the best I could. Um, a friend of mine is telling me that I, I made myself too thin. <laughs> so um, I'm gonna give myself a little bit more uh, weight here just to make him happy. Um, and then once I, you know, do what I do to the character, you know, get in here and and um, you know, give myself a little bit more weight. I am. I look a little bit thinner here, but um, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and um, transfer it over right here to iClone. It ends up in iClone, and here goes. Here I am in the. Uh, this is gonna be the Ferrari scene. The uh, the uh, ten chase. In this uh, scene, <clears throat> let me just explain this scene real quick. My friend and I uh, left the club, my friend Alex. We left the club and, uh, you know, we were excited. Uh, he drove my Ferrari because um, I was a little intoxicated. Um, better yet, I was a little drunk. Uh, but I was happy. I was, I'm, I'm a happy drunk. Um, we left the club. And we're driving down the 10 freeway in L.A. Going towards uh, Groove Nation in Hollywood. And um, we're driving along and uh, we're talking. And a Camaro pulls up next to us. A beefed up Camaro with flames and a blower. Um, and so he's revving his engine. You know, he's taunting us. You know, trying to indicate that he wanted to race so i sober up a little bit and i'm looking at him me and alex we're looking at him he's revving his engine i turn over to I, I i look at alex and i go what are you waiting for take him you know and so the race was on we're we're speeding down the 10 freeway going towards la uh you know, we're, we're, we're going, we hit 130 miles an hour. That's how fast we were going. Um, and, you know, we, we start pulling away from the, the, Cam the Camaro. And as we, as we get off the gas, um, we're still going fairly fast. You know, maybe we're coming down to the 120s or whatever. Um, my friend Alex, uh, uh uh, he turned pale. He looks in his rear view. Oh, no. He goes, uh, we're being chased by the CHP. So um, he says, oh, my God, I'm going to jail. I'm going to jail. I go, you're not going to jail. He goes, I, I'm on parole. He go, I said, you're going to jail. So um, what happens is we're in the second to the left lane. And um, the cop pulls up next to us and he points the CHE CHP officer pulls up next to us uh he points towards the the side of the road you know to pull over he's indicating to us to pull over so we're like slowly pulling over you know we're doing what the officer says we're slowly pulling over and he obviously wanted to keep chasing the Camaro because that's what, he, you know, he was indicating to us, pull over, pull over. And as we're pulling over, we go over another lane. At that moment, a diesel truck comes between the line of sight of the CHP officer and us, a diesel truck. So a diesel truck is going through. And at the same time, the five northbound freeway off ramp is coming along. And I look at Alex. He looks at me. I just say, I nod. 
go for it, man. So what happens is we take the five off ramp going north and the cop is still on the other side of the diesel. So we basically disappear into the night um, and <laughs> and never heard anything about that situation ever. This was in 1996. So, uh, of course, technology is a little different today, 2021. But um, that's going to be the first scene I'm going to do. Um, and um, I... I'm, I'm, I'm st I still have, in, I, I have the ideas in my head how I'm going to do it. I already have the cameras. Uh, I have some cameras set up here. If, uh, I'll show you. Here, go, here goes some camera shots, views. Um, and we're going to be talking, uh, you know, before the CHP shows up. And... Um, you know, these are some of the views that I'm, I'm going to use. And, and at some point, you know, I'm going to have the Camaro pop in on our passenger side over here. You know, he's going to be over there on that side. And uh, we're going to be looking at him and, and we're going to say take him. And, you know, and at this point, I mean, we're, we're flying down the freeway. I'm going to show all this. I'm going to animate all this. We're talking. I'm going to break out my, um, my mocap suit, you know, put it on. And I'm going to pretty much, you know, animate both these guys, myself and my friend Alex. And um, I'm going to record the, the dialogue, so lips will be moving. I'm going to do everything. Uh, the diesel, uh, the, the, the CHP in the back with the lights on, everything's going to be moving. It's going to be a scene. Um, the reason I'm going to do this scene, because I think this is going to be one of the most complex scenes in my movie. Um, so I wanted to tackle this one first, and I think I am now at the point where I I can um, actually start my movie. I was in training mode uh, since uh, I think April, May of 2020 during the pandemic is when I decided to do this. And I've learned every program possible to do this. And I think now I'm at the point where I can make it happen myself. So, yeah, I already know it's going to take several years uh, to do this. But um, I'm up for the task. Um, I will post up snippets of of the scenes that I do and uh, the process and everything. So, um, you know, if I could teach somebody something, uh, I will. Um I'll post up later some of the practice scenes that I have. Um, they're just pr they're practice, just to kind of get my workflow down, you know. And my workflow is uh, uh, character creator three, uh, uh, iClone seven, and uh, Unreal Engine four. Uh, Unreal Engine five is out, but I'm not able to transfer uh, characters from iClone seven yet. Uh, via live link so i'm waiting for that um so i will be using uh unreal engine 4 for now and um but anyway that's the that's the deal um also uh, something else i'm going to be doing or not going to be doing uh with these videos is i'm not going to use uh, over here in the corner <clears throat> you were able to see me with um, a green screen and all that. Well, I decided I'm not going to do that no more because it takes too much time prepping to do that. And I need to conserve as much time as possible for this project. So I'm just going to have a little picture of myself down there in the bottom left. And I will be talking to you and trying to explain everything I do um, as I go. So um, that's the deal. Oh, and the other thing I'm not going to do is I'm not going to edit these videos any longer. 
uh, you know, people they as when they talk, uh, they they might say something wrong. They'll screw up and then they'll edit it uh, and all that. I'm not going to do that neither because that takes too much time. And I screw up. I screw up. I'm going to keep moving. That's it. Um, so deal with it because I am. Anyway, um, again, I'm going to be producing. I'm going to start producing my movie. And uh, I'm going to bring you guys along for the ride. See what you guys think. You guys can comment as I go. The movie, the working title is Universal DJ. I most likely will change that, uh, but that's my working title, Universal DJ. And uh, that's it. So anyway, uh, thanks for watching. Uh, please like if you can. Um, if you dislike, whatever. I don't care. Um, and uh, thank you. Bye-bye.